I still need to recover from another love. Hello! Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. I'm Delix, and today we're going to draw some dreadlocks. As you can see, I've already started this page with a sketch and some considerations. This is one of the topics I wanted to tackle in this sketchbook. And I am finally doing it. Since I designed some houses with dreadlocks, I wanted to get a little better drawing them cause their hair didn't turn out good at all. And I want to give them justice. So I went to Pinterest for some references looking through long and short locks and I start sketching. Now, I've done so much mistakes while drawing locks and I hope you don't do the same. I mistakenly drew them without considering anything. Shape, form, weight, thickness. So the result was rigid, almost flat sticks instead of hair. Another time, I drew them and they turned out okay. It was a decent result, but they had a strange shape. Almost unnatural. I got pretty frustrated, so yeah, here I am. With this study, I had a better understanding. Dreadlocks don't start directly from the head. I'll explain. Locks don't come out just like that. They have a starting point which can be different. If the locks are tight, there will be visible section of hair in which starts the lock itself. In other cases, they don't start from the skull, but further on. So at the beginning the hair are in their, let's say, natural state. A thing that is very very important is the volume. Each lock has a volume and each of them creates a shape. It is important to keep it in mind, especially when they overlap. The more they overlap, the more they create layers and they create a mass. And all of that mass has a weight that, of course, is affected by gravity. Another thing that helps is shading. Cross lines are helpful for not seeming flat and the strokes can suggest the texture of the locks. I tried not to overdo it though. My goal was just to give that sensation, not to fill them up. Place a flag 
flowers under your hair You don't have to care about anything you used to care about When you wanna smile, I'll be there This is only fair, now go ahead and let your hair down Place the flowers under your hair You don't have to care about anything you used to care about When you wanna smile, I'll be there See, I know when you get mad, I know you smile when you're sad I know there's fellas out there faking it to get you in your bed I know your girlfriend's always walking, talking shit behind your back But just know that I've always course-corrected you before you crash So I'll be there for you, and I'ma care for you And you can bet your bottom dollar if you need me, you can holler So let's just act like we're in love tonight Well, alright so we can hide our heads in Himalayan haze And spend our days inebriated, holding on to you Myself much, I just stay in my room Writing music for you These days the world it weighs me down And I feel pain in my heart I write my sadness into song Then sing alone in the dark And I be trying so hard But I keep snoozing alarms Cause some days I'm feeling faced With heavy thoughts on my mind Like aren't you nervous inside? What if this doesn't work out? What if the industry ain't into me And music I write? What if the energy I bring Ain't really matching the vibes? Would you still love me at night? Would you whisper that you're proud? But no, I've never been so sure this is my purpose in life And so I drive to New York City with a dollar and dream I spend my nights on Zinni's floor making bangers repeat Cause ain't a thing in this world that can stop me now And when this tape drop, I'm ready to take off like three, two
just for today Let's take the shortcut what I've learned. I decided to draw my OC Friday. Although it came out unintentionally too young, the important thing was getting his hair right. He has a short hairstyle and to be honest, I really don't know the thickness of the locks. I tend to draw them like with a standard size. I don't know if it makes any sense. There are different ways to make locks and they can come out thick as hell or thin and tiny. This is another important thing, knowing your OC's hair and how do they behave. I mean, even with straight hair is this way. You may have very thick long hair but they tend to be frizzy or you can have less thick hair and even though you have a large amount of them they tend to appear thin and light okay all of this nonsense just to say that hair are different from person to person time for Elijah. He has long hair so I can practice with that too. He tends to gather his hair on a ponytail and I wanted to draw that. That's why I decided for a side view. He turned out with such a serious expression. I'm not used to it. I prefer him when he's smiling. Me in at night and see another day. See another day. When you are all out of words, there's nothing. 
When I was talking about overlapping, that's what I meant. You can play more with long hair and hairstyles, but you need to be careful where the lock starts and where it will end up to be. quite like her before. Lazy Sunday, thinking maybe, don't you wanna spend some time? Been so patient, like I've been waiting, 40 days and 40 nights. I've got a confession and a craving for you. Come on are visible and there is a huge difference between the early drawings and this one. I will pay even more attention on their hair when I draw them in the future. If you made it this far, thank you so much! Give it a like if you liked it, ring the bell, subscribe for more and see you next time! Bye bye!